This video is going to show you how to install a kernel for the R4 and the R4i SDHC. We're going to get our micro SD card, our micro SD card reader, and insert that. And now we're going to connect it to our computer. Okay, we just inserted our micro SD card, and as you can see, it just popped up. As you can see, it says removable disk. We're going to open folder. As you can see, mine's empty. Mine's a new micro SD card. If you're using a used one, just go ahead and delete everything off of it because we need to format it, which is going to delete everything off of it anyways. So just make sure it's empty. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and format it. I'm going to use my SD formatter tool. Double click. Okay, we're going to do a quick format. Format. Push OK. And of course, if you don't have this tool, you can go to the video description and get the link to download this tool on there. Okay, now that we've formatted it, we're going to do exit. Okay, computer, removal disk. Okay, now that we've formatted our micro SD card, next step we need to do is add the kernel. Okay, to add the kernel for our R4i, we're going to go to the internet browser. Okay. And we're going to go to the official website uh, for the R4i SDHC. All right, now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and go to download, to the download tab. We'll click it. Okay, we're going to scroll down. All right, here's our R4i SDHC. All right, as of today, 2-5, February 5th, 2011, the latest kernel is version 1.32b. Just, you know, you want to download the latest one. And of course, if you're using the R4 SDAC, you want to go to this one. As you see, like the picture, and down and click over where it says English to download it for that one. Uh, if you're using a one, uh, R4i 1.41, you want to download this one. If you're using 1.4, you want to download this kernel also. So just click where it says English. Click it. Say File. Click OK. And then it's going to download. Okay, my, I already downloaded it. So it downloaded pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to exit this. And now I'm going to go back to the desktop. Okay, and as you see, I'm using a clear background. That way you can see it clearly. Okay, I'm going to open computer. Removal disk. This is my micro SD card. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go to my downloads. And here is the kernel. Okay, you're going to see this file right here. Notice right here it says WinRAR zip archive. So it's a zip file, meaning it's compressed. So you have to uncompress it first. Okay, so we're going to double click. Here's the folder. I'm going to drag this over to my desktop. Or you can just do extract to desktop, either one. But you just want to extract it to your desktop. Okay, now I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to close this out. And here's my curl. Okay. All right, now pay attention to this part. A lot of people make this mistake. What they'll do is either they'll just add the kernel, the, zip, the zipped kernel onto the micro SD card and then wonder why it doesn't work, okay? You don't just add, and then you don't unzip it and then just add it to the kernel either. What you gotta do is open the kernel first, the folder. This is your kernel right here. And now we're gonna get off our I menu, drag it over to the micro SD card and let it copy. Okay, now that's done, we're going to get Moonshell 2. Drag this over and copy that to your micro SD card. Okay, now we're going to get our 4 Moon Memo. Drag those over to the micro SD card. Okay, those copy pretty quick. Okay, now this remember, this is our removable disk. This is our micro SD card. Okay, no longer need the kernel. We've already added it to the micro SD card. So, next step would be new folder. Call it games. New folder. Call it media. You can pick whatever names you want. This is just what I like to call them. Okay. All right. Now this is our games folder. We're gonna go ahead and add a game. We're gonna add two games. I'm gonna double click on that to open the games folder. I have two games right here that I'm gonna copy over and drag them over. Put them in there. And of course, remember this. Uh, like a common mistake most people make is when they download games, uh, they're downloading them, but they're zipped. They're compressed games. Uh, you gotta unzip the game 
then add it to the micro SD card. Okay, a lot of people just download the game. I'll see, I'll see. It's a zip file, and they'll add it to the games folder and wonder why it doesn't work. So make sure you, whenever you download games, just uncompress it first, unzip it. Uh, the way you know if it's unzipped and it's an NDS game is look at the name right here where it says Mario Kart. You can notice it says Mario Kart DS dot NDS. That's how you know it's already uncompressed. Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna click back, open media folder. I'm gonna add a media, which is a movie, The Hangover. Drag it over to my media folder. Okay, now notice the format on the movie, the video. This is the hangover. Notice the file name, the hangover.dpg. Uh, Moonshell 2 is what actually plays the movies on your offer eye, and it'll only play video formats in, in DPG. So if you try to add an AVI file, it's not going to read it, and it's not going to play it. It's only you're going to have to convert it first to DPG format, okay? Which is what the DS plays. All right. So now I'm going to click on remove this, and we're done. This is my kernel. I've added a game. I've added some media. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Just remember, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is on the root of my micro SD card. This is what yours should look like now. Okay. All right. Now we're done. We're going to click on remove the disk. I'm going to right click and then click eject. This is a soft eject. You want to do this every time you eject. You don't want to just pull it out. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a brief demonstration and show you what it should look like. The back right here. Okay, so this is Alex Ryder. Okay, now I have loaded uh, custom skins on here. Your skins will probably look different. I like the skin better, uh, and it makes it a little bit more clear to see. This first icon is your games folder. Second one is your multimedia, which is your movie player, Moonshell 2. Third one is your configuration. All this does is just pretty much the background and some other stuff right here. Where it says skin. I'm going to change the skin, which is the user interface. And I've got different ones that you can download from the official website where you download the kernel. I'm going to go back, go back, do my first folder, games folder. Where all the games are. And I even added a couple extra games just so you can kind of start and describe what they're supposed to look like. This is New Super Mario. When you first launch it, I'm going to push A to launch it. It's going to create a save file right there. Creating a save file, which will just uh, save all the progress of the game whenever you play it. Okay, as you see, the game loaded just fine. The game. Really nice and smooth, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you something real quick. It's called a soft reset. What you do is you press left trigger, right trigger, push them both down at the same time, and then push Y, X, B, and A. All four. All right, uh, I'm gonna show you what these icons mean real quick. This first, this first one is the key. This is your cheats. Second one lets you know that it can do uh, DS Link, which is multiplayer. The red one means stands for the soft reset, which you know which game, the game has soft reset on it, enabled. Just scroll down to my cheats. Okay, now as you can see, it's on game. Just scroll down to cheat, push B, goes down. To go back up, push X, goes back up. So I'm gonna go down to B, which is cheat. And here are all my cheats that I can enable. Miscellaneous code, unlock all codes, open all worlds, to activate it, put cheat on, save, push X to go back up to game. And as you see, the key's not code. So now I push A to play. Notice it still says new game. Notice that. So I'm fast forward through this. Okay, as you can see, I didn't complete any of the levels. And I'm going to go ahead and press select to unlock all the worlds. Yeah, I did press select. That was for that particular cheat. It said open all worlds, and then it had in parentheses select. 
but I just meant press select to enable it. And that's just some of the basic features uh, for your offer high.